what I've done here is I've built a simple little pressure tray so that this way each unit's going to be tested at the same time so there's no deviating or changing the performance level. Right now with zero pressure I wanted to show you the difference between us and the competition to start off with. First off we get asked a lot of times why do I even need a live performance swivel or a, a, a swivel in, in general on the hose because I have a, t a quick coupler. What I've done is I've got a gauge with the quick coupler on here and just to give you an example it takes a lot of force to create that rotation even without pressure. What you'll see later on is once we add pressure to the tree that's going to freeze up just as rigid as your hose with no twist or basically another section of piping. I'm taking a 14 millimeter wrench and I'm just going to set it up on here, set it a horizontal motion, let the wrench go and you'll see the amount of friction it takes to cause this wrench to fall. As you see this one's going to sit here without any weight, it's not moving. Moving up to another competitive unit, setting it horizontally, you'll see it has a slow fall which means it has less friction on it at zero pressure. The next unit over here, a little bit smaller in build, has about the same dis or speed of fall on it. So again, it's a little bit of a tighter unit. We'll move over to the Mosmatic, again with the horizontal, no friction. You'll see that live performance is also going to move over when we throw it under pressure. And what I've also done is I've got a digital scale here, so I'm going to show you the different amount of force it's going to take to create the rotation while it's under pressure. Alright, so we've come into the testing room and we're going to set this up with pressure. We're going to bring the pressure up to 2-3,000 psi. And then I'm going to just throw the wrench on there and show you the pressure gauge to get a little bit of a rotation out of there. So bear with me one moment while I get everything set up. Alright, so what we'll do, let the pressure run up a little bit and then it's going to drop down. And we'll start over here with the Mosmatic Swivel. We're going to set this up on the wrench and then just kind of lift. So what I'm getting on a reading for rotation is 0.39 steady on a pull. I'm going to move up to this one here and on a pull with this one I'm at 0.90 on a steady gradual pull. I'm going to pull the trigger because as you see the pressure is dropping a little bit so I can bring it up to an even test. So we're at about an even test parameter. And pulling up on this one, to get a steady pull you're at one point, uh, we're going to say about 2.4, 2.3 to be safe. Moving up to the last one, steady pull, to get it moving is about 2.2. 2.4. And as people have mentioned in the past, why do I need one when I have a twist coupler? Just to give you an example here, this is under pressure. This is not twisting easily at all. I can throw a wrench on there and we can check the pressure to get it to twist. But again, a quick coupler is not meant to be a swivel. It's just a compression connection and the O-ring is what really seals it and with pressure it's just locked into place.